What's going on, Rapid Nation? Jumping on here to give you a quick update on Iraq and some top headline news. Maybe go over some comments, and I think we'll do the news first and then hit some comments from my ATM video to end it. Let's get rapid. I saw this in the headline. It's just worth mentioning about this missing Titanic submersible posed an extreme danger to passengers. Ocean Gate executive warned in 2018. It's unfortunate. Um, the latest I just saw in a tweet, it's not confirmed. It might have imploded with these two individuals on there, including the expedition leader and some few other high-end individuals that paid to go for this ride to go look at the Titanic. It's very unfortunate. I hope they can find and rescue these people if they're still out there. This is definitely breaking news today. It tops everything else pretty much but hunter biden boy he's getting a sweetheart deal isn't he plead guilty to federal tax crimes takes a deal on gun charge hunter biden this is what you can get away with when you're the son of the president of the united states it's who you know the law just doesn't apply to some individuals in our country tell me what you think in the comments below Hey, the Iraqi soccer team Olympic crowned its first Asian title at the expense of Iran. Must have been one heck of a game. So let's get into Iraq. Is anybody hung over from the dramatic budget ending? Of course, I think the president still needs to sign it. All the articles that I've seen says he hasn't yet. Um, but let's let's see if we can find anything. Turkish delegation visits Iraq to resume oil exports from northern Iraq. Searching for Dinar says uh, the budget is done. The president Rashid needs to sign, then publish in the Gazette. And of course, I haven't talked about this in Telegram. I, I mentioned the WTO. It's always a good sign right after the budget. The WTO accepted the accession of Iraq to the WTO. So that can only be a positive mark for Iraq. Again, we're going to have to see what takes place. These things don't happen overnight. Sometimes they take months or even years to get going. The central bank confirms its powers in inspecting and inspecting banks and financial institutions. Election time, December 18th. Iraq sets the official date for provisional council elections. So the provinces will have their elections on the 18th of December. Al-Sudani sets EID al hadda holiday that's coming up. A lot of holidays in Iraq. Meeting of the Iraqi Center on dollar price exchanges in informal markets. Anti-money laundering and terrorism finance council on Tuesday discussed dollar price changes in informal markets. The governor of the bank, chairman of the council for combating money laundering and financing terrorism, Al Alok, chaired today the regular session of council for combating money laundering and financing of terrorism. The council reviewed the steps and preparations for the mutual assessments of the Republic of Iraq to be held next August. They discuss or discussing the developments in the exchange rate changes of the dollar, currency, and informal markets and the measures taken by Central Bank of Iraq on them. So moving forward, everybody, this is what you have to be rapid about. And that is what you're hearing out there on YouTube land, Dinar land, your, your forums, what have you. You got to take what others are saying with a grain of salt, including myself. They're going to hype this up because Iraq can't continue going at this rate. Iraq can't continue to build infrastructure, WTO. It's got to be one to one. Yeah, although some of those things may be true, you got to remember something about Iraq. They're resilient. They've come this far on such a devalued currency. Just keep in mind, Iraq's come so far was very little. All right, high ranking Pentagon delegation visits I Baghdad and Erbil. This is the Middle Eastern Affairs. Dana Stroll will visit Baghdad to hold a series of meetings. The delegation will also scheduled to visit Erbel and meet with senior officials on Kurdistan region. This is the U.S. Department of Defense to visit Iraq soon. Here's what you have to remember right now. The world is not a safer place right now. It's far from being safe. And the Middle East, on many different themes, the Pentagon is still very much involved with Iraq. To keep Iraq stable is definitely a very much a priority 
for the United States. Let's move on into some questions and comments from this video. Iraq dinar ATM footage from Baghdad. If you haven't seen the video, the link will be down in the description below. Beautiful comment by Mystical energy vibes 5320 i like this video because you're actually showing someone in iraq using the atm everyone says they have a buddy over there congratulations you are the first one showing not only what iraq really looks like but he is showing us something no other guru in the 20 years invested in things has shown maybe he will continue to work with you and perhaps show more of the country so we investors could understand what we have to feel great about yes you got it thank you and that's why i pinned this comment it just kind of sums up what a lot of people have said and that's what i want to continue to do on this channel appreciate buddy and baghdad both of them for their hard work just wanting to help out all right this gentleman paul says i believe the new atms have two bins for currency and will be able to flip the two the new currency i.e small category notes as soon as the system goes live well quite possibly you know you never know only an atm guy would know that atm i showed was pretty modern and i kind of hear there's talk about these like major atms listen how hard can it be for an old atm machine to adjust to a size of a currency note have you ever used a printer and put in paper and it's eight by eleven and sometimes it has like little adjustments where you could put in a letterhead or like an envelope or a five by four for a card there's adjustments on these it's not like it's uh some new engineering feature except certain sizes of atm notes Rapid, we love your videos. I love you too. Thank you. There's a big like for that, and I'll make sure I heart. Hey, if, if I haven't got to your comment, I will. It just, there was a lot of comments, and I just fell behind. Oh my gosh, David says him and his wife, 19 years invested, and never has witnessed any of this stuff that you're showing. I'm telling you, people just want this. They want this, and this is what I want to bring to all of you. So stay tuned for more. Thank you for your effort. This lady says lower denominations means a rate change that makes sense hcl equals ri this person says yes but i don't think we get any money until the rv goes crypto prepper says twenty five thousand becomes 25 the rv one to one which means 1200 to buy 1 million becomes 1000 so you lose money at three to one you get three thousand back 1800 gain this is what's been going around with the deletion of the zeros and i did a video i'll try to post that in the description below this was years ago and it it goes back and forth it just depends on who you listen to and and I'm not going to say that I, I know for sure. My brain tells me is deletions of the zeros. I think a lot of people who speak on this talk about the three zeros lopping off the notes. So 25,000 note, dinar note would become 25. That's true. That's why we have to have the rate change prior to that before they lop or delete the zeros off the note. On the other side, the deletion of the zero just means the decimal point moves three three decimal places so if it's point zero 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 seven six um if they delete those zeros or move the decimal point it'd be 76 cents does everybody understand that and that's how i i perceive it to be now again the rate change must happen while you're holding uh like a million dinars uh depending on what you have that's really where you're gonna have that that windfall otherwise it's it's still going to be something back like this person explains but gosh people waited 19 20 years even 10 or 5 years all of this waste of time following this dinar dream would be a waste if it turned out to be you receiving $1200 or $3000 depending on the rate you know if you got a million and it turns out to be two to one two million dollars be awesome but that's kind of sometimes i lay awake at night thinking it's that's just too good to be true this lady asked can you help me understand are you implying the rv is a scam i'm so confused the dinar currency is not a scam i don't think anyone's really trying to scam you unless you're buying currency from somebody is the investment scam? Are you going to receive millions of dollars because of this? That's the million dollar question. And I'm not here to tell you that you will. There's no guarantees. Nathan says it would be nice to see dinars come out of the ATM of any denomination. 
Nathan, hopefully that's our next next update. So just stay rapid. Chuck says, amazes me there's no leaked pictures of the new lower denomination. Super strict control of this RV. Chuck, I don't think there's an RV yet or an RI. And as far as the lower denominations, I don't think there is any right now. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure there isn't. And the people of Iraq would know. Word travels fast. Stay connected. I, I talked about this in my Telegram group with Buddy in Baghdad. Lower denoms are not out. And I, they might be printed or they might be ready to print. We, we just don't know. Stardust Blue 3625 says the very large rates don't seem to correlate with all the dinar RV talk going around. Like they are saying the new rate on the streets is literally almost or over parity to the US dollar. If there were actually true, wouldn't those high denominations on the ATM in fact be much lower? Why would anyone need 1000 in dinars if it has actually revalued uh, stardust it hasn't revalued and you're right the denominations would change if it went in the right direction if there was a need for it but right now there there isn't a need for it adam i talked about adam he wants my buddy in baghdad to go downtown baghdad to go to a major bank you want him to search for the brand new atm that are not being used yet but have a note on them that say new currency is coming soon. Okay, Adam, I did a video on this. Adam, buddy, you got to think for yourself. Don't let others tell you. There's some magical unicorn ATM downtown Baghdad, and he went to a major bank. And he even, he even replied to you saying that there's nothing like this out there that you're talking about. This is a unicorn ATM nutty cookie is 25,000 note just $25 when the zeros are removed well yeah if they remove the zeros from the currency notes that'd be true a lot of you have said thank you and I just want to say thank you back I'll end this comment Antonio Ford I believe how is no one talking about article one where the rate is in article one of the approved budget bill, the value of $100 against the Iraqi dinar was set at 130,000 dinars for three years. So that'd be the rate in the budget is 1300, just so everybody knows. And they set this for three years into the end of 2025 at the price of one barrel of oil was set at 70. Am I reading this correctly? Or Yes, that is correct. Um, it's set at 70, but I also talked about with OPEC, they're going to be cutting oil production. That's going to drive the price of oil up. And when you have wars going on with Russia and Ukraine, there's a lot of uncertainties. These oil barons, this is what they live for. They know their business in and out of the oil industry. They predict oil to go up. That's how I'm reading it. So you're right on spot. Everybody have a great week. Stay tuned for more and stay rapid.